Hi there, I'm Kelly Jameson here with your weekly wrap up of everything going on in Doniana County. Uh, it is Friday and actually today we graduated 10 new detention center officers uh, who are going to be sworn in in uh, a ceremony inside the commission chambers. All 10 of these cadets successfully completed their seven week basic detention officers academy at the Doniana County Detention Center. The public was invited to join in and District 3 Doniana Commissioner Shannon Reynolds uh, gave the commencement address and Doniana County Magistrate Judge Samantha Madrid uh, gave the oaths of service. We were happy to welcome aboard Oscar Ariza, Orlando Carvajal, Robert Campos, Fernando Dominguez, Lucinda Dominguez, Jesus Lozoya, Roberto Madrid, Cassandra Minas, Elko Ortega, and Princeton Perry. Welcome to the Doniana County. We are certainly happy to have you. Uh, coming up this week on February 14th, for the love of ACES, Doniana County Animal Control and Codes Enforcement, along with the Planning and Constituent Services uh, Department, are going door-to-door -door in Radium Springs. ACES is our acronym for Animal Control Environmental Survey. Uh, it's the program that aims to educate residents on how to come into compliance with county ordinances involving domestic animals and solid waste uh, while offering some opportunities to clean up their neighborhoods and beautify the area. Uh, that's going to be Friday, Feb I'm sorry, Thursday, February 14th. On Saturday, February 23rd, from 9 a.m. to noon, a roll-off container is going to be made available there in Radium Springs as part of the cleanup initiative. Uh, if you'd like more information on these ACES projects, they are uh, conducted every year through, uh, throughout all parts of Doniana County. You can call uh, Animal Control and Codes Enforcement. Their number is 525-8846. They'd love to hear from you if you have a suggestion on where uh, the next ACES program should be conducted. And a couple of road closures to talk about. We've been uh, mentioning these for a few weeks and unfortunately we'll have to talk about them for several weeks to come. Uh, down in Barino, a portion of Three Saints Road is still closed while uh, work crews continue to remediate a massive gasoline spill in that area. The closure forces traffic between West Harding Road and West Barino Road uh, around Opitz Road. So if you're in that area, please use caution and expect some delays. Over in Chaparral, a portion of Golden Eagle Road continues to be closed while they uh, finish installation of a sewer line. Uh, the section between East Lisa Drive and Wicker Road is open to residential traffic only. Again, we mention these road closures to you, not because we want you to uh, be careful uh, and obey the detour signs, but also there's a lot of construction vehicles in that area, so please use caution and obey those posted speed limit signs. And as always, on Saturday at the north end of the Farmer's Market, the Animal Services Center of the Mesilla Valley is going to be having an off-site adoption fair. So if you're out about this weekend, please stop by and say hello and maybe uh, adopt a forever friend. If you missed any of the information or uh, that I just rattled off, or if you'd like to see what's going on in Doniana County, uh, please visit our website regularly at donianacounty.org. We are always updating news and information on that site and of course on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. We'll see you next week.